Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to do an overlay project where you overlap the husband and wife's name over a last name. So I'm going to do it for the Flintstones. So I picked my font and I'm just typing out the last name here. And I'm just going to adjust it to how I want it to look. You can use any font. You can make that, you can make it really long. You can do whatever you like. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And I'm going to go ahead and type out the husband and wife's name with the I Love Glitter font. I am going to put the character map up so you guys can see what that looks like. I'm going to put that in the comment section. But I'm going to type it out here for you in a different font so you can see what it looks like typed out in one font versus how it's going to come out in the I Love Glitter font. So you're going to do a bracket and then you're going to do the names. Now there are two different ways to do the connecting heart. I'm going to do the underscore because I want the heart to be hollowed out. But you can also do a straight line which will get you a full, filled in heart. So. I'm just going to copy this so you can see this is what I typed into the computer and this is what it translates to in I Love Glitter. So this is what I was talking about. The underscore makes this hollowed out heart and a straight line would make this filled in heart. So I'm going to stick to the hollowed out heart. And I'm going to get rid of this. But again, this is what this translates to this in I Love Glitter. So these brackets make the swishes. And the underscore makes a hollowed out heart, and a straight line makes a filled in heart. Get rid of that. And what I like to do with cursive fonts is I like to ungroup them. So I hit object, ungroup, and then I select it again and hit path union. And this just ensures that where the letter, the cursive letters connect, it's not cutting double, it's just one smooth cut. And now I'm just going to size this to fit the width of the name. And I'm going to show you two different ways to finish it. So I'm going to move this one down here so I can show you that method in a second. So we're going to finish this one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to edit and copy the name, the two names. And I'm going to hit edit, paste in place. And I'm going to come over here to the right and I'm going to hit style. And I'm going to hit shadow rounded. And I want to bring down the thickness of that shadow. So that's what these number values are. The smaller you get, the thinner the shadow. And I just want a pretty thin shadow. So I just did 0.25. I'm actually going to do the rounded black out. <coughs> and then I'm going to hit the shift button on my keyboard and click the last name. And then I'm going to do path, back minus front. And what that does is it just cuts out an outline to the names here. So when I go to cut this out out of vinyl, I don't have to worry about all of the spots in between. It's just going to lay right into that little keyhole that you just made for it. Now the other option, this is the way that I like to do it, is to cut it out of the last name so that it just fits right in. The only thing with this one is like you see here on the hollowed out heart, you'd have to fit that S piece in and the little loops here where we've just removed them in the last method. I kind of like to fill those in. I just like how it looks. So what you're going to do here is you're also going to copy the names. So again, just edit, copy. And what you're going to do here 
is you're going to select all, you're going to hit path, and you're going to do back minus front. And you see how there, it's a very tight fit here versus where you have space there. And you've got all the little loops. And then you hit edit and paste in place. And that's where it'll layer right on top. So you've got two options. Either you can do this uh, nice tight snug fit here the way I just showed you. Or this kind of a glow outline that you cut out to make a keyhole to put your names into.